Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to show how to design steel connections using the Idea Statica software, which is very well known software in connections and other concrete detailing. First of all, here I have this module done by Tecla Structural Designer, and already there is one video showing how to create this module using Tecla Structural Designer and how to make analysis and how to make the design. I'll put the link for that video under this video. Now to start, first of all, we have to do the full analysis and full design for the structure. Then after that, we can start with the connection design. So suppose we finish the modeling of the structure with all elements and load cases and load combinations. Now I'll go to the analysis and do the structural analysis. Okay, this is the analysis. Then I will do the design from here, design steel. Okay, after doing the design and all members are passed, as shown in green. Now I will start the connection design. First of all, I will go to the windows, this. Then from there, I will click on connection window. Here, it will be shown the connection window. Right click on the connection and update connections. Okay, once the connections have been updated, we can open you will find different types of connection base plate connection beam to column moment connection beam to column simple connection and general connections today i will show how to design the apex connection as you see here we have this apex connection between the two rafters how to export this connection with the all analysis data including moments, shear, axial, forces, everything. I will export to the IDEA Statica software, then it will be designed by that software. So in the general connection, I'll find this one, right click, select invisible view, this one, the connection I'm going to design. I will export this connection to Idea Statica. I will use the first order nonlinear analysis. Once you click, the program will ask you about the file name. I will name it as Apex B2. Save. The Idea Statica program will be open automatically showing this connection so as we didn't select the bolts and the plate sizes so we will not go to the connection design directly we will just click finish as you see the idea statica software have been opened automatically because there is connection between the software and the tacular structural design software okay i want to design the connection between this rafter and this rafter so these two struts i will delete go to the members then I will select this number, right click, delete, and select the other number, which is this one, right click and delete. Okay, after that, we'll go to the operation. In the operation, this is the library of the connections. Okay, we'll use this one plate to plate connection click we select the 
grade of the bolt and the diameter I'll select A325 by 20 dial okay then this is the connection like this now we will start to to edit the plate and the bolts to give the right dimensions and number of bolts first go to the plate as you see thickness of the plate is 10 mm and bolted connection and we will select the top profile in the top i will extend the plate 100 mm as you see and from bottom i will extend also 100 mm and left side i will extend 50 mm and right side i will extend also 50 mm okay now we have this the plate like this now we will come to the bolt distribution the top layer I will give 50 sorry 50 as you see it is 50 from the top flange and I will give another bolt like 100 I think we need 150 okay you see then minus 100 minus 100 as you see three rows inside the section one row outside the section i will add another row and the last row i'll modify the bottom I'll make it 50 also so now we create the connection with the bolts now if I want to add the stiffeners here I can go again to the operation and the stiffeners I can select from the ribs okay these are the ribs rb1 i'll go to the rb1 down then i'll start giving the thickness 8 mm and the width 100 mm i'll give and depth 100 mm as you see this chain the shape is triangular okay the cross section it is at top flange one okay but i don't want from both surface i want to be from the top side only the plate i want from one side oh, it is the lower side okay and the location i don't want to use the uh, three plates stiffener plate i want to use only one at the center so it will be like this okay now come to the welding itself on down I can select the welding from both sides if I click you see if I click both sides weld will be on both sides I will select one side only and the welding thickness I will use 6 mm ok this is for the first rib I can add another rib also I can go to the ribs and come to the second rib and it is I have to click here related to the plate and I already created the top uh, flange I will create at the bottom flange so I move this second rib 
to the bottom of land from here location of oh, sorry top flange and make it bottom flange now it's here at the bottom flange and I'll use the upper side and I'll use the center so it will be only one again I will give the dimension it is 8 mm and 100 by 100 triangle it's okay and the welding from one side and the welding thickness I will use 6 mm also so this is the second rib uh, now I have to create the other ribs on the other side so going again again rib the third one I'll select so here it is related to the rafter the second one I'll select the right hand rafter this one and again I'll give the same 8mm 100 100 and here's at the top flange and surface from lower means upper side okay and one at the center and the welding thickness it is 6 mm okay the last rib which is number four I have to select then it will be related to the right hand side right hand I have to click this related to the plate and it's coming also on the top I have to make it at the bottom flat here and it is the center and I think from upper side to go down okay this one again I will give the 8 mm and 100 100 then the welding thickness will on one side and it is 6 mm and as you see the program import all the loading cases here the load effects and now the design of this connection will be based on the load effects coming from the load combinations from tackle structure now after finishing this we'll save then going to calculate by clicking the calculate program start the calculation okay I just stopped the uh, video recording because it takes time as it is a non-linear uh, load effect so it is iteration design so it takes time now after finishing the checking it seems we have the plate the plates it is our design and the bolts also well so one by one we'll start with the plate we'll see this is the <coughs> down plate give a red color so we will revise it if I click here it is rib number four I will increase the plate thickness from 8 to 10 at the same time I will increase the welding thickness to 8 mm and also for the other plates I will rise to 10 and the weld thickness 8 mm and also the side select this plate 10 mm, 10 mm thickness and 8 mm weld thickness and this plate also 10 mm thickness and 
well doing it and now I have guys the play thickness and welding also okay after that I have revised the bolt so selecting the bolts and I will revise all the bolts from here I will just revise to A325 I'll make it by 24 diameter all the bolts now they are 24 dia and I will save the model and again calculation okay now we finish the calculations and seems the plate still not okay and the wheels also will check so now I revise the bolts and the welding and we will do the last calculations so now finally it's okay and all pass and at this moment we can go to the check we can see the strain check equivalent citrus and as you see from the equivalent citrus maximum citrus 206.4 megapascal which is okay and all other like meshing and the deformed shape also all we can see after that we can go to the report and in the report as you see full details given all load combinations and the produce stresses forces and moments check analysis plates balls welds everything okay and the plate checking okay design data the citrus equivalent citrus and the bolts checking all are okay welding also okay so all the details given in this report and this is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching